Sola Scriptura, everyone. This is His Word Only. Alright, let's get right into the Word of God. So today we're going to be reading Numbers chapter 20. As a recap of Numbers chapter 19, we have the ordinance of the red heifer. And the children of Israel, when they brought their red heifer, you know, to the sanctuary, the tabernacle, they would give it to Eleazar. And then there'd be someone else, another priest there, who would perform the sacrifice, right, with the whole heifer. And then the priest shall wash his clothes and bathe, right? And he won't be clean until even. So shall Eleazar, right? And then we learn, you know, of anyone who touches the dead body or a dead body, he shall be unclean seven days. And, you know, if someone died in a tent and then there were people in there, they would all be unclean. They'd have to bathe, do all that. And then um, they, they wouldn't be clean until the even, right? And then uh, that's pretty much that. Numbers chapter 20. Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, into the desert of Zin in the first month. And the people abode in Kadesh, and Miriam died there, and was buried there. And there was no water for the congregation. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and the people showed with Moses and spake, saying, Would God that we have died when our brethren died before the Lord? And why have ye brought up the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness, that we and our cattle should die there? And wherefore have ye made us to come up out of Egypt, to bring us into this evil place? It is no place of seed or figs or vines or of pomegranates, Neither, neither is there any water to drink. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. They fell upon their faces. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod, and gather thou assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock, so thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord, as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly. And the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believed me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. This is the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel strove with the Lord, and he was sanctified in them. And Moses sent messengers from Kadesh unto the king of Edom, Thus saith thy brother Israel, Thou knowest all the travail that hath befallen us, how our fathers went down into Egypt, and we have dwelt in Egypt a long time, and Egyptians vexed us and our fathers. And when we cried unto the Lord, he heard our voice, and sent an angel, and hath brought us forth out of Egypt. And behold, we are, Kad or we are in Kadesh, a city in the uttermost of thy border. Let us pass, I pray thee, through thy country. We will not pass through the fields or through thy vineyards, neither will we drink of the water of the wells. We will go by the king's highway, and we will not turn to the right hand or nor to the left until we have passed thy borders. And Edom said unto him, Thou shalt not pass by me, lest I come out against thee with the sword. And the children of Israel said unto him, We will go by the highway. And if I and my cattle drink of thy water, then will I pay for it. 
I will only, without doing anything else, go through on my feet. And he said, Thou shalt not go through. And Edom came out against him with, or with much people, and with a strong hand. And thus Edom refused to give Israel passage through his border. Wherefore Israel turned away from him. And the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, journeyed from Kadesh, and came unto Mount Hor. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the Mount Hor, by the coast of the land of Edom, saying, Aaron shall be gathered unto his people, for he shall not enter into the land which I have given unto the children of Israel, because ye rebelled against my word out of the water of Meribah. Take Aaron and Eleazar his son, and bring them up unto Mount Hor, and strip Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar his son. And Aaron shall be gathered unto his people, and shall die there. And Moses did as the Lord commanded, and they went up in, into Mount Hor in the sight of all the congregation. And Moses stripped Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar his son. And Aaron died there in the top of the mount. And Moses and Eleazar came down from the mount. And when all the congregation saw that Aaron was dead, they mourned for Aaron thirty days, even all the house of Israel. And that is the end of Numbers chapter 20. As a summary of Numbers chapter 20, we have the death of Miriam. And she died in the desert of Zin, in um, Kadesh. And then Israel had no water. And of course they were complaining again, even though it was their fault, right? Trying to put it on someone else. And then Moses and Aaron <laughs> fell before God in the tabernacle. And then uh, he told them to hit the rock with the rod and that water would come out. And that's exactly what they did. And then, of course, Israel, you know, they're like, oh, yay, water, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, it's just crazy, man. He does all this stuff and they're still rebelling <laughs> they still don't want to take it, ownership of their actions right it's all god's fault not their fault even you know but anyways um we have the death of Aaron, and he ends up you know um dying in what was it mount hor and he uh, passed his garments, or Moses passed his garments to Eleazar, his son. And then both, you know, Moses and Aaron came down. And then the congregation mourned for 30 days. And that is the end of the summary. Hope you guys were edified, and you guys have a wonderful day.